Hi, just a quick follow up to the Batterizer dislike video I did. Um, somebody on the EEV blog uh, forum asked, you know, like I was talking about uh, how the fact that you can buy views and likes and all this sort of stuff and how I have never done that and would never do it. I have no need to do it. And they pointed out the... Um, the actual data I showed here, and here's my real data over my entire history, and they noticed, well, and, well, and they said, and rightly, well, what's going on with this huge big peak here? This looks, it almost looks fake. Like, you know, I maybe I've paid for the views or something to make my channel uh, more popular. So what's going on here? And i got to agree, look at it. It looks a little bit sus, doesn't it? So let me actually show you um, what's uh, going on here and see how it's A, real, and B, probably not all that remarkable. So let me actually show you. This is the roll-in seven-day average. So this is not like the daily data. So this is like the last five and a half years, okay? So you can see it's all, you know, there was a huge big spike up here and it, it sort of, you know, it looks a bit worse when it's um, averaged out like that. So what we'll do is we'll go in here, let's say go from 2014 onwards, right? So for the last like year and a half or something like that, it'll take a while for this to, now you can see here for the last year and a half, when we zoom in, it's not really as bad as what it looked uh, before for the raw data. So let's go back to the, it's just the way that it appeared on that graph, how it was scale when you did it over five and a half years. But anyway, we'll go deeper in here. Let's just go in and do that seven day average data again. Okay, and once again, that peak really pops out when you put on a seven day uh, roll in average data. Let's, I haven't actually tried this. Let's put on a roll in uh, 30, 28 day average. Here we go. And it's, there you go. See, it doesn't look nearly as bad for a roll in 30 day, but definitely it looks, I've got to admit, that looks sus, right? So let's actually go in and see what happened here because I don't follow my stats uh, closely. I haven't done for quite a few years. So uh, let's go right up here and just before we can, I can just move this bar. This is the power of the YouTube blogs. Here we go. There's the seven day average of just that peak and right up to uh, the latest stat for today or a few days ago. There's a couple of days lag. Okay, so let's go to that daily data. Look, see when you actually go in and have a look at that peak that was there, it's nothing really remote. Okay, like, you know, an average of like 50, 60,000 or something. And then it went up, there was a big peak at 120 and things like that. Okay, so it's it, it's nothing really hugely out of the ordinary when you're used to, you know, if I release a couple of videos that are popular at the same time that get linked elsewhere and go a little bit, you know, viral as, you know, my videos don't really go, you know, uh, can, like a uh, general interest viral, but, you know, they'll, they'll get linked on other blogs and, you know, things like that and um, slashed out or Hacker News or, you know, one of those things. And you can see that there was a big rise here. Well, look, we can actually have a look here at what the most popular videos were during that time period. In fact, let's let's tighten that up a bit to see just before that rise, okay? So just before this rise here, look, what were the most popular videos? Well, how, how to secure the uh, safe, right? That electronic safe, that was 221 thousand views which is a lot you know that's a really popular viral video in such a short time for me um so that was part of the big because it got linked in lots and lots of places and then at the same time i happened to do another popular one it was the dumpster plasma tv uh repair the dumpster dive power max was in there at 100 oh no that's that's actually fairly recently so that's i think that's responsible for this rise up here in fact we can see that let's go and have a look <laughs> this is the good thing about uh, this huge, yeah, Dumpster Dive Power Max, okay? So that Power Mac one was responsible for this recent rise here. But we're concerned about this huge spike that doesn't look that huge here, does it? Um, compared to when we spread it out over that uh, five, um, the five and a half years. But anyway, you can see that... Uh, you know, I just strung together, and the anesthetic wristband one, um, I just strung together quite a few reflow soldering, quite a few popular videos at the time, and bingo, uh, if you release them within a, a shortish period of each other, you'll get, you know, double in. Um, it's not quite doubling, but, you know, like a maybe a 40% increase in your number of uh, views like that. It's not 
it's not that uncommon. It's happened before in a relative sense. If you go look at the relative uh, data, it's but it really shows up if when you do it over the five and a half years, as I said. So there's the you know there's that big spike there, you know massive spike, and that really affects your roll in seven day average. But anyway, let's go back here. Uh, oh, seven day totals. We don't want that. We want roll in average. Okay. So now here's where I can prove whether or not they're fake or genuine views. Okay. I can uh, compare that metric with the uh, estimated minutes watched. Okay. So this is the number of minutes that people watch. And bingo, look, it correlates. It correlates very, very well with that. Now, if, you know, if I paid for likes, for example, they wouldn't, uh, if I paid for views, right, they wouldn't be watching the whole video because my videos are like, you know, 30 minutes long on average or something. They're not going to sit there for the whole 30 minutes just to get that. They're going to sit there for the 30 seconds or the one minute or whatever it takes to get that view. So you would find that that orange curve, the total minutes watched, would have stayed consistently flat. It wouldn't have gone up with my views. So there you go. That is a way it shows that people were genuinely, and this is my biggest point ever on my in five and a half years, I think, where my um, where people have watched the most amount of vi minutes on my videos. In fact, we can expand that out. So that proves that I am getting consistent data, uh, that I'm getting a genuine views and they're not paid for likes either by me or somebody else. Right, who I don't know why anyone else would uh, pay money to uh, like to one of those dodgy companies to like my video. But look at that, it's the highest point ever in my five and a half year history where um, m people have watched the most amount of material. So there you go. Um, I hope that was a little insight, uh, an interesting insight into uh, you know, don't be deceived by that five and a half year data spread. Yeah, it looks bad, but when you actually go in and really analyze the data, you can actually see where it comes from and there are genuine reasons why you get big boosts like that. There you go. Uh, it looks like YouTube only started that uh, feature with the minutes watch back in uh, sort of uh, late 2012 there. So yeah, there's no data before that, but there you go. All genuine views. I've never paid for any views. I don't need to. I get like 70, 80,000 a day consistently, even if I don't upload new material. They just keep coming because that's what happens when you've got 800 plus videos searchable on your channel. People are just searching for all these different keywords all the time. And I seriously will not have to upload a video. I could not upload a video for a month. I'd still be getting maybe 50, 60,000 views a day consistently just from all my existing uh, content and people searching it. But of course I couldn't do that forever because then uh, Google would start ranking my channel down and down and, and yeah. It's really important uh, uh, for you um, up and coming bloggers there, da uh, consistency of content uploaded is the key to my uh, consistent uh, growth and snowballing growth and getting up in the search engine rankings and all that sort of stuff is just because I've up uploaded you know, two or three videos a week for five and a half years. So there you go. I hope that explained it and that was an interesting insight. Catch you next time.